Hickok 45 here, and you know I like a Glock 19. I especially like one in the extreme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how extreme it is, but you know, considering and comparatively, uh, it has an extremely long grip, doesn't it, for a Glock 19? Yes, it is the 19X, as you can see there, and uh, you guys have requested it, and gals, uh, that we take a look at it. Knowing what you know about me, that I'm a bit of a Glock person, well, that's uh, an understatement, isn't it? I do like Glocks. I have been with them for a long time. And uh, so I guess it makes sense that I should try this thing out. The 19X, the Glock 19X. And I uh, want to tell you about why it, it, uh, it is in this configuration a little bit. And we'll talk a little bit about that. But the ammo loaded up. The Glock 19X, okay. Uh, where, how did it come about? Well, it was one of the military submissions, okay? For the modular handgun trials or whatever you know and of course sig won that uh much to glocks this may you know and then everybody else's everybody wanted to win that military contracts are lucrative and you know desirable of course uh and this was the uh essentially the fn uh submission you know the 509 i don't know what they called the military version of it but you know so that's where these two firearms essentially came from uh, you know, because a lot of us criticize firearms like this uh, when we're looking for carry guns. The slide on that's just fine, but it's got the long grip. It holds 17 rounds, just like this. This Glock 17 frame holds 17 rounds, you know, but it's got a more moderately sized slide, a Glock 19 slide, see. But it's be because, uh, that may not be the entire reason, but they were military submissions, okay? so. I'm not going to bash this configuration too much. That, that's where this came from. It was uh, it grew out of that. So then they offered it to um, us mere civilians. Okay, and you'll get the nice coloring, different color, and everything. I understand it's the first time Glock has uh, offered a you know factory uh, you know slide coloring you know like that. It's right from the factory. It's not Cerakote or anything on the slide. So that's that's the rationale for these. And, I, and as you know by now, I'm surprisingly fond of this 509, even though it has a bigger grip. And I'm usually not a fan of big, long grips, you know, for a carry gun and that sort of thing. And I, I don't carry this much, but boy, it's a great shooter, you know, I like it. Uh, and you also know, if you've been around a while, I'm not a huge fan of the Glock 17 because I don't like the hump. Hits me at the wrong place down here. Uh, one of the reasons I like that 509 so well, the grip feels good, even though it's a long grip. So, for me, the Glock 19, which is this varmint right here, feels much better to me. So, in terms of a carry gun, uh, this is not as desirable to me, this uh, 19X. It, it might be to you, uh, because you get more ammo in it, in a flush magazine and everything. So, it might be exactly what you're looking for. Uh, so that's that's what you've got there basically i brought my glock 17 out with the peeling grips again <laughs> you got to get those tightened up so you've got a glock 17 frame and you've got a glock 19 this is my yeah gen 5 you got a glock uh 19 slide in fact it'll it'll fit on here you can now you can't you can't put a uh, a gen 4 slide on it Okay, not that you'd be doing any of this, but just to show you, uh, you know, my, uh, my Glock, you know, 19 Gen 5 slide works just fine on here, okay? Because that's what you have, all right? It, it might even look good to you, <laughs> the two-tone there, okay? So you got a, a kind of a Gen 5 gun here. For the most part, uh, I'll put the regular slide back on. You, you know, I mean, it's a typical Glock, you know, uh, 17 there. You, you've got uh, some better coating, as I understand, because again, this was going to be a military firearm, they hoped, and so it's got some hot shot coating on the, I think internally and externally. You've got the, uh, uh, that enhanced rifling, you've got the crown barrel. It's got some of the things that the Gen 5 Glocks have, uh, a lot of those things. Uh, you know, the reversal, reversible mag, you know, releases and all that. You've got your uh, AMBA, AMBI, uh, slide lock, 
Now, the thing you don't have is you don't have the mag well, which is nice. Okay, you don't have the mag well. They didn't put that on there. Okay. But in a lot of ways, it's just a Gen 5 uh, Glock 17 frame on a Gen 5 Glock 19 slide or under a Glock 19 slide. Okay, that's really what you have. Okay, so video's over. <laughs> if that's what you think you want, that's what it is. Okay, uh, so uh, just kidding. You know, I'll go for another hour, don't you? Until it gets dark. And you've got the better sights, maybe. You've got the metal sights, uh, night sights. Uh, I think, yeah, kind of a night sights on there. So you got some things that it, it's an enhanced firearm in, in a lot of ways. I don't think it's, it's going to be a highly popular carry gun. I, I might be fooled. It might be. It might sell really well, but uh, it doesn't appeal to me that much. The other thing, too, is, you know, me and my trigger uh, preferences. I like a crisp trigger if I can get one. It's hard to find one on a Glock. I've got a few that have them, though, and this gun has one. has a pretty crisp trigger. You know, it's got the take up, get back to the wall, pretty nice crisp break. That's what I like. Another thing I like about that, and I like about some of my Glocks, this Glock 17 is kind of like that. Yeah, nice crisp break. That's why it's my bedside gun and it's loaded. The magazine's loaded, okay? Uh, I don't get that with this one. It's got that rolling on through and then finally it breaks, okay? And all the ones I picked up at SHOT Show were like that too. So if you're looking for a crisp trigger, you may not get it on this. So you better check the trigger before you buy one, okay? I don't, that's just the way it is, okay? I was joking with them at the Glock booth about it looking at it already i'd already shot one out at range day and had the same kind of mushy trigger and uh i picked up a i think it was a a training gun one of the blue gun or maybe it was a blue gun I, you may remember john and i pulled the trigger on it and it was nice it was like that 509 or like my glock 17 nice crisp break it was a training gun or something and then they had one of the cutaway guns you've seen those where they got it all cut open and everything i picked it up I'll be darned if that thing didn't have a highly desirable trigger. It was really nice. So I was giving the reps a hard time about putting all the good triggers on the guns you're not even going to shoot, you know, and then you pick this thing up and okay, when's it going to break finally? It just, yeah. You know, so anyway, that's my trigger preference. All right. You know, I'm biased in some areas and that's one of them. But uh, so I'm not crazy about the trigger. That's one of the negatives on it for me. And every one of them that I've picked up, it's probably just been four or five, but they all seem to have that same, I don't know what you call it. There's just nothing crisp. I mean, you can't even use the word crisp in talking about it, okay? Um, but some people prefer triggers like that. They actually do. Apparently a lot of people, because a lot of Glocks have that kind of trigger. So that's what you got. Let me shoot it some more. It comes with, uh, with uh, three mags, you know, the standard Glock 17 mag, and then you got the plus one or two there. Uh, so you get three magazines with it and let's see if they work okay we'll put my ears back on here see i threw some stuff at that paper <laughs> yeah i threw it all over uh <laughs> okay Nice, got one bullet left. Let's put it on the gong. Boom, we did. Another mag in here. Let's go back to Mr. Gong. Because of those sights, I have to hold a little bit differently than I'm used to with a Glock, but they're fine. I get used to those. Two liters. Whoa, I'm about to dip it over here. There we go. Nice. Stop sign. <laughs> I mean, they work. I complain about the trigger, but you can make it work. Uh, it's not absolutely, oh, look what I found. The real advantage of having a Glock, right? You can put in one of these. <laughs> so that would be a nice combat piece, wouldn't it? Oh boy, let's smoke some pot with that thing. <laughs> Cowboy, let's shoot you. Shoot that, whatever that is. 
tombstone. That's what. <laughs> when I went to one hand, I had to get an easier target. Let's try the uh, uh, tree here again. Just because I got this giant magazine hanging out of it, it's just matter really. <laughs> Man, that thing shoots all day. And it works, doesn't it? Well, that's one thing you get with a Glock. If, even if it has, of course, the, the frame that might be bigger than you would want. Uh, and the trigger not as highly desirable as you or I might want. Things work. The things work. And, and I'll tell you, if uh, if I'd been on those adoptions and if I were in the military and I was going to be carrying one of these pistols, the SIG or any of these, uh, well, now that uh, FN, you know, would have been tempting. But even with some of the negatives I've talked about with this thing, I would not have been upset if uh, if they told me, hey, guess what? Instead of the Beretta 92 or whatever. Uh, you're going to be carrying a Glock 19X uh, with two or three spare mags. I wouldn't complain, no, because the dumb things just work. Uh, they, they, just do. <clears throat> they just do. You, know, you, just, uh, you just know when you put a magazine in it and pull the trigger, it's going to work. That's always been my experience. And uh, so... So when I complain about some things, it's the, the trimmings, you know, like the trigger. and uh, Like even there, it was a little hard to, to get it shooting as fast as I, I think I can shoot a Glock if it's got a nice trigger. But it works. So so that's kind of the thing. What have I forgotten to tell you about it? I think they sell for, uh, I think they're actually going to be on the market probably for around six fifty something like that. It'll just depend. They're not, I think, too widely available yet. I believe the MSRP is like a seven something. So we'll see what it, what it actually goes for. Uh, it may go for seven, you know, 750, I, I don't know. But if you like the slide of a Glock 19 and, and you want that capacity with a flush mag, uh, you know, this might be what, what you're looking for. Generally speaking, people who carry, concealed carry, uh, or just carry a pistol, even, even if it's open carry or whatever, uh, like a uh, shorter grip, and a longer slide. The slide's not as much problem as a grip is if you're concealed carrying, okay? And you all know that if you carry. But, you know, a lot of people carry Glock 17. So if you, maybe if you look at it as a Glock 17, if you've always liked the Glock 17 size pistol, then, uh, and you carry a Glock 17 size pistol, then it's not that big a deal. You know, you just have a shorter slide on this gun. Okay, so it's kind of perspective, just like everything, how you look at it. But that's what you got. You got a Glock 17 with a, kind of an enhanced Glock 17 with a Glock 19 slide on it. Okay, you know, better sights. You got a nice finish, and uh, you got the Gen some of those Gen 5 features that I was talking about. There've been a lot of people request. You know, wants to shoot this. What we think about it and everything, and and it's uh, it's almost perplexing in a way because it's 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 you know if you've shot a Glock 17, you know you. You know what it is. There's not that much difference, and I've shot them both side by side, and I don't see that much difference uh, in terms of recoil or you know, anything like that. Uh, I don't notice because it's got the long grip having l less recoil than even a 19. I can't tell them much difference. I've shot them all, and uh, it's it's a fine gun. It's uh, got those negatives and those positives I talked about, uh, but you know the color's pretty cool. You might like that. Might be something you want to consider because uh, if you're a lefty, of course, you've got your slide lock there and everything and, uh, on both sides, otherwise known as ambidextrous. So uh, there's some advantages there that, that some people you know, will like. Uh, so I'm not going to bash it, but it's probably nothing I would be interested in uh, purchasing. Okay, Not this particular configuration. But anyway, the 19X, you know, the failed military submission, I guess we'd call it. But... Uh, you know, Glock has submitted firearms, I guess, lots of different times, and uh, they don't they don't always win, you know, and uh, probably didn't expect to uh, with the U.S. military. But, uh, and that always gets political. You know, the gun that's chosen is not necessarily the ultimate gun of all time just because the U.S. military chooses it. We all know that. You know how politics work. 
and pricing and all those sorts of things. I'm not saying there's a lot of corruption or anything involved. It's just, you know how those kinds of things work uh, when you get right down to it. Uh, the top two or three pistols uh, under consideration, you know, once you get past that, there's, you know, there's pricing and service and parts and, you know, whether they like you or not or whether you beat the other bid, you know, by a nickel or something, who knows. If you're in the military at a higher level, you probably could uh, talk about that for hours, right? So anyway, 19X, uh, you know, not a bad gun, just, just wouldn't be my, my choice, okay? Don't hate me for that. Hate me because I'm beautiful. Don't hate me because I don't necessarily love this gun. Life is good. Hey, Dad, will you throw me another pot? All right, cool. Yeah, I'm just setting up here for another video. Wanted to remind you guys to check out our friends over at SDI, the Sonoran Desert Institute. They are a fully accredited online distance learning program where you get certified in gunsmithing and get an associate's degree in firearms technology. They also accept GI Bill. So check them out over at sdi.edu. And also check out our friends at vaultexsafe.com. You've seen the pistol safes on the, uh, the, the main shooting table in some of our videos. So check them out if you need one of those. And also go to hickok45.com and you can find basically everything that you need to know about us. You can see all of our various supporters over there and stay up to date on uh, our Facebook pages and uh, Twitter, Hickok45 on Facebook, the real Hickok45 at Instagram. Uh, there's also the Hickok45 and Sun YouTube channel, all that kind of stuff. And full30.com, we've got videos over there. So just go to hickok45.com and that's where you can basically find anything else you need to know. And also our store, don't forget that.